Okay, let's solve this trigonometric question in just a few minutes. So they say we should find x, y, z very quickly. So you can see that from this diagram here, we have um, these two angles that are parallel and these two lines, sorry, they are parallel. And then we have rules that you follow, laws. So here we can see alternative ang angles. Alternative angles and complementary angles. So we have alternative angles and complementary angles. So from here we have that this you know alternative angles by using this structure here. In this case here, these two angles will be equal. Alternative angles are equal. Complementary angles are equal. So here we have this z here. You draw z, and then note. It should be parallel. The, the lines should be parallel before you can do this. And also, so meaning this and this are equal automatically. Then complementary angles, angles that align on the same line and the the lines are parallel to each other. This angle and this angle they are equal. So quickly, can you see that? Can you see that? So therefore, x is equal to sixty degrees from here because why? You state your reason alternative angle native angles alternative angles are equal then the next one you say then y is equal to is equal to 70 degrees because why you state your reason complementary angles are complementary angles are equal the next the z is sum of angles on a straight line note if sum of we have many angles, sum of angles on a straight line is 180 degrees. So in this case, so since these angles are on a straight line, so z plus x plus y is equal to 180. So we have z plus x plus y equals to 180 degrees. Therefore our z, we're looking for z plus our x here is 60 degrees. 60 plus our y is 70 equal to 180. So here we have z plus 130 equal to 180 and then z you collect like that is equal to 180 minus 130 this is 50 degrees so uh z angle here is 50 so um without wasting time you don't need to i'm just um spending time to explain that we have alternative angles complementary angles and the angles in straight lines 180 also bonus to this video is angles on a point at a point here different angles here is equal to 360 degrees so if you're giving angles at a point you equate it to 360 and then solve